Hey everybody, this is Troy with Ebo Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pop OS, their newest release, 21.10. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like what the channel's doing and you enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. First thing we're going to do is we're at their website, System76. I'll be sure to include that link in the description below, and it tells you a little bit about Pop! OS. It's an operating system for STEM and creative professionals. It's got workflow customization, auto-tiling with the Pop! Shell, workspaces, keyboard navigation, stacking. But one of the reasons I wanted to cover it, guys, is with this new release, they have got some user interface and user experience updates that I think you guys are going to really love. And if you go to the download... They still have the download for 2110, download for 2110 NVIDIA, and now download for 2110 for the Raspberry Pi 4, okay? This is where you can get their new release. If you want to go with the long-term support, it's still there. All you got to do is click on that, but there is no Raspberry Pi support. So right now, I'm going to close out of the website, and we're going to go over and check out the operating system. Okay, if you download Pop! OS, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, and boot into it, this is the screen you're met with. Now, up here, you'll see that you have a panel. Down here, you have a dock. Up on the panel, you've got battery, sound, and internet. And then, of course, right here, you've got your tiling windows. I'm going to show you those real quick. Let's say you open up File Manager, you open up Terminal, you open up the Pop Shop. And as you can see, all of these are just scattered all over the screen. All you got to do is come up here to the tiling, click on it, and go ahead and click Tile Windows. Then you can come do your work. If you wanted to get into your file manager, you could, and you carry on over here in the terminal. And then, of course, the pop shop's down here. That's up to you. If that's something you want to use, it comes in handy if you're somebody that multitasks a lot. But that's something I definitely wanted to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out, and I'm going to go ahead and close these windows out. Now, if you come over to the center of the top panel, you've got date and time. It lets you know right here you do have an update available. And then right here is your calendar, and then, of course, today's events if you had any. And then select a weather location and do not disturb. If you don't want your notifications to disturb you, just click those off. Or you can clear your notifications right there with that button. Now, if you do want to set up your weather, just click on select weather location. Go ahead and put in what city you're nearest. I'm going to go ahead and put in Dallas. Click on that. And once that pops up, you can adjust the temperature unit. I do believe right now it's in Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and switch that to Fahrenheit. And then there you have your weather set up. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And then if you come back up here, you'll see that your weather is now on your drop-down menu. Now, if you want to come up here to your calendar and you want to look at your events, all you got to do is click in your events and it'll bring up your calendar. You can go in here and you can set up an event. Let's say you had an event for today. Let's make it a personal event. And then you can edit the details of the event. You want it to be all day? No. You can put a start time. You can put an end time. Let's go ahead and make it 1 a.m. Okay, that's set. Click done. And then it lets you know right there you have a personal event starting at 12 a.m. If you close out of that and then come back up here, it shows you your scheduled item. So there you go. Now, over here, you also got applications and you've got workspaces. And when you open up workspaces, it actually gives you a different background. So let's go ahead and close those. Go back over here. Now, if you're used to using Pop! OS, you'll know for a fact that when you come down here to open up your applications, you used to get a full wall that covered your whole background. You don't get that anymore. When you click on it to open it, it's a smaller area. Okay, it's conservative. It doesn't take up the whole screen. Plus, you have categories, library, office, system. And then you can also create your own folders if you wanted to. So let's come down here and let's just make this one tools. Now you have a tools folder here. You could go in there and put your text editor in there if you wanted to. And let's go ahead and put the terminal. Now you've got library home. You've got your office. You've got your system. You've got your tools. You've got utilities. It just makes things a lot easier to work with. And if you notice, it looks a little better with not taking up the whole screen. You may disagree. If you do, let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the applications. Another update that System76 has included in this release is the fact that if you're using multiple monitors, whatever screen your mouse is on, when you open your application menu, that is the screen that's going to open on as opposed to your main one. So if you're working on a center monitor and you have a left and right monitor that you're doing 
something else on, if you've got your mouse on the center monitor and you open the application menus, that's where it'll open up. If your mouse is on the right monitor, that's where it'll open up. So, mouse-focused application opening. That's pretty big deal for those of you using multiple monitors. You come down here, you've got Show Launcher. You can click that. You can type to search apps or type for more options. You can just type in search. You can search gear email, user, screenshot, sharing, startup systems, weather, videos. So let's get out of that. And then right here, you can show your workspaces. If you had more than one workspace, it would click on it. It would show them all to you. Then you have your applications. you got Firefox. We've already looked at that. Let's look at your file manager. Okay, your file manager has opened up. And as you can see, it's a light file manager. Over here, you got your usual suspects. You've got your home folders right here. It's very clean. You can go down here and you can adjust the way it displays everything. You can make those folders bigger if you wanted to. It's just a nice, lightweight file manager that makes it easy to get work done and stays out of your way. So let's close out of that. Then we're going to go ahead and check out Terminal. Now it's opened up. I want to see if they have HTOP installed, and it does not. Let's see if they have TOP. Yes, top is there. At present, I have three gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine at rest with just the terminal open. Pop OS is using about 947 megabytes, so it's a mid-weight operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Then you have the Pop Shop. This is how you install applications on your system, and it is opened up, so let's go ahead and maximize that. I've always liked the look of the Pop Shop. If you look up top, it's got a nice little banner. And then below it, you've got Pop Picks. You've got Lutris, Alacrity, Mattermost, Virtual Machine Manager. You also got categories down here. You've got accessories. you got audio. You can click on it. It's got ATI, Adobe Flash, Ardour. You could go back, click on Communication, and it brings up different communication programs. So you could go through there, and you could go by Categories. Or you could do a search up here. Let's say we were looking for something like OBS Studio. Let's go ahead and do a search for it. And as you can see, OBS Studio comes up right there if you just click on it. And it'll let you know right here that you can get it from Flat Hub. Or you can get it directly from the Ubuntu repository. So let's go back. And you could do another search. Let's check out Caden Live. There's Caden Live. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it is available through the Flat Hub and Flat Packs, as well as the Ubuntu repository. So you've got several different ways of getting software installed, whether it's from a Flat Pack or whether it's from the Ubuntu repositories. So I'm going to back out of this. And if you go over here, it says installed. It shows that we have an update. The operating system has 15 components with updates. It's about a 13 megabyte update. And then it itemizes them for you here. I'm not going to do that at present, but that's how you download software and how you update your system in Pop! OS. So let's go ahead and close out of that. That right there is install Pop! OS, and then of course you have your settings. Let's go ahead and open those up. And with your settings, you have network. Right now it shows that we're connected to a wired connection because we are in VirtualBox. You can set up a VPN right here or a network proxy. You have that capability. Then you have your Bluetooth. Then you have desktop, which gives you your general, your background. You get a few different backgrounds here you can choose from. Appearance, you can also change from a light mode to a dark mode. I'm just going to leave it in dark mode. And then you have the dock. You can enable or disable a dock. That's up to you. You can extend the dock to the edges like it is, or you can make it smaller so it's taking up a little less space down here. Then show launcher icon in the dock, workspaces in the dock, applications in the dock. Icon click action, launch or cycle through the window, which is what we want it to do. Dock visibility, you can set it for always visible, always hide. You could set that, and it would disappear. It would not come back up until you hovered over it. But because I'm in virtual machine, that's going to keep messing with it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that back up. Dock size, right now it's on medium. You can set it for small, large. You can even set a custom size if you wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it on medium. And then, do you want it on the bottom of the screen? Do you want it along the left side? You can switch it over there, or you can switch it to the right side. I kind of favor the sides because you do have monitors today that are obviously wider than they are tall. So that gives you a little bit more room there. And then your workspaces, you can make adjustments to those as well. So let's go ahead and back that up. Then you've got notification settings you can adjust on, applications, privacy, Connectivity checking. If this is a laptop and you're going to different places out there that offer free Wi-Fi, 
you could leave that on and it would let you know when you were in range of one. I usually would keep that off. Location services, I keep that off. Thunderbolt, file history, and trash, screen lock. Then we come back over. Then you've got your online accounts. If you've got Google accounts or NextCloud, Microsoft, Foursquare, whatever you might have, you can come up in here and log into those accounts so you have access to them right here on your operating system. Now, if you have Google Mail, Microsoft Mail, or anything like that, when you log into your email account that comes on Pop! OS, it automatically uses those accounts for your email so you don't have to actually do it twice. It just syncs up. Sharing. Sound, power, displays, this is where you set your resolution, mouse and touchpad, keyboard, firmware, about, OS upgrade and recovery. You can go over to about and let you know you're in Pop! OS. It is 21.10, 64-bit, GNOME version 40.40, and windowing system is X11, and then virtualization is Oracle. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then if you come over and look at your applications, you got calculator, calendar, files, Geary for your mail client, what we were just talking about a while ago. Then if you go to Office, you got LibreOffice, and then System. You've got Advanced Network Configuration, Disk Usage Analyzer, Power Statistics, Startup Apps. Startup Apps come in handy for the simple fact that sometimes every now and then you will download a piece of software that automatically injects itself into the auto start. If it does, you can just come over here, pick out that piece of software, come over here and click remove, and it would stop starting up when you booted up your system. So let's close out of that, and then we'll open back up. We were at system. Let's go over to tools. I had terminal, text editor, which I put in there, and then utilities, archive manager, edit, extensions, fonts, show workspaces, screenshot, videos, help, USB flasher. And then, of course, create no folder, which we're not going to do. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that. And let's back out of that. Well, that's a quick look at Pop! OS 21.10. I think the user interface updates are awesome. I think the user experience updates are going to work out real well for people. And I think it's going to be popular. But let me know what you think. Is this something you might download, throw on a USB, put in a virtual machine, and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.